What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be reacting to, man. So the voice dropped this video. We're going to get our tea for the day. Let's see exactly what's going on, man. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to they ain't your mama, tell they Uncle Joey still a hoe. Let's get right into this video. Let's get it. Justin did respond back to Brooklyn Shady Grit comment. Out here in Miami and still lying on my name. Grit! This is still crazy as <laughs> to see. Like, the fact that she was this petty to post this is crazy. It's crazy! She must have, like, hurried up and posted and deleted this. Or maybe it's still up. I don't know. This is not her TikTok. So this is somebody else who reposted her TikTok. Just looking at this, y'all, is crazy as hell for me to see that she even took it to this level, bruh. This level of pettiness is crazy. And the fact that Cinco called her out for not even writing that message, that thick-ass message that we all saw, the fact that he knew she ain't even write it, <laughs> this whole situation is just really, really crazy, guys, you know? I really hope from this point forward, he moves on, she moves on, and we can just keep it at that. I hope there's no more petty slugs being thrown at each other, man, because at the end of the day, man, y'all just did not work out. Why do we got to go back and forth with this shit, bro? And it's always her starting this shit, and she's still being petty behind some shit that she knows she started, which is crazy, y'all. Crazy. Great comment. Out here in Miami, <laughs> and still lying on my name. Great! Great. He did this. <laughs> you can't have me a great, bro. Nah, he did not say that. Damn, I don't got no great. <laughs> I wish I was unbothered like that. I'm Greg. telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> and the fact that she posts something so petty lets me know that she is bothered more than she is leading us on to believe, right? Because there's no way in hell you're going to post some petty shit like that and not be bothered. I believe that she's bothered for a reason that has nothing to do with Cinco. I believe that she's bothered because her character is being torn down right now. I don't know how her brand deals and sponsorships are looking, right? It might be hit, hitting her pockets. But as far as the situation and what she has done wrong and her fault in the situation, I don't believe that she even gives one ounce of care let me know how y'all feel <laughs> over though. the weekend i was crying because we hit 100 000 okay cases. okay shout out to you the voice congrats Quarters, man. i'm excited happy y'all congratulate her in the comments man that's Be that's grateful big. and that's appreciative huge. to everyone that contribute to this moment y'all i that's would not up. be nothing without y'all so i just want to say thank you thank you thank you i love y'all but let's hey keep going up girl let's get into this tea because the air post some vacation <clears throat> pictures on ice let me find out she got some grills i know she got grills she did, and a lot of people <clears throat> in the comments were wondering who hand this was there were comments mm -hmm. to someone who i'm gonna just say that's a female hand all right y'all it's a female hand right here y'all you know what i'm saying that's a stud hand it's a studly hand we're seeing here that is not a man hand it's just on ig and a lot of people in the comments <clears> were <throat> wondering who hand this was there were comments to someone who actually said my bestie or you better live your best life mm. i just love this for her y'all leave mm. your comments down below when it comes to that but let's get into the kai update because he does have to appear in court on august 18th Answer, kai sanat was released from police the situation today crazy. after yesterday's chaos in Union Square. Please. A felony for a meet and greet is crazy, yo. Issued a desk appearance ticket to Sanat, which requires him to appear in court. Why did he just scoop that nigga like this? Police issued a desk appearance <laughs> ticket to Sanat, which requires... He's so big, he scooped that nigga, bro, like some ice cream. Requires him to appear in court on August 18th. He faces charges of inciting a riot and... Hey, that's some security for your ass, nigga. I need me one of them, you feel me? And he is more than doing his job. Awful <clears throat> after Sanat's giveaway event turned by Today, Mayor Adams spoke about the investigation into the giveaway event, saying he believes other people could also be responsible for the riot. That's wild, bro. You don't come to get free Game Boys and bring smoke bombs and bring M80s oh. and bring other disruptive items. And so uh, we believe there were some outside influencers that may have attempted to aggravate the situation. Also, the little kid that was on Kai's back that he was carrying through the crowd. Well, mm -hmm. the child spoke out and here's what they had to say. He put you on his back, bro. What else he said? Well, he also gave me a high five. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, 
He was just happy to be there, man. He literally, he literally, he also stopped me from crying because I can't even say nothing else. He's too cool. He's too cool. He's too Adam22 cool. also spoke out about the situation that happened last Friday when it came to Kai. Okay, so regarding this Kai Sanat thing, a few years ago, Lil Xan, when he was at the height of his popularity, mm -hmm. he did a meet and greet at a pizza shop in Redlands, California. Mm -hmm. I think like 2,000 people came out. He got fined a hundred thousand mm. dollars by the city because they had to send helicopters out. That being said, Lil Xan and me were both not that popular at that time in mm. comparison to how popular Kai Sinat is mm. right now. So, in other words, he really needs people around him to tell him that ideas like this are not okay because he's gonna get the most insane fine, probably legal problem. Now, I did say in my previous video that they are gonna probably more And that sucks too, because you're trying to do something positive for your people. And you can't even do that shit, man. Because, like, stuff like this might happen. He'll likely be hit with a big fine. Hopefully, it's I'm crazy, praying there's man. no jail time. But I know he's definitely going to be hit with a fine. Now, let's move on. Let's talk about Armand. Because recently, he did a hot seat with his siblings and wasn't happy when that's this. Link to the full video is down below. Definitely go check that out. For Armand. Let's do it. Uh, is Armand going to move SC with him and Legacy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to answer that question? You got a drink? No, it's not that I don't want to. I that nigga look irritated by just hearing the question. You don't want to answer that question? <laughs> Is our mom going to move SC with him and Legacy? I yeah. wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to answer that question? You got a drink? No, it's not that I don't want to. I will not be moving SC. And with me, no, I'm moving to LA. My daughter will be now, in LA. Now, if they're not in a relationship, why would he move his baby moms in with him, bro? Why would he do that? What type of question is that? And with me, no, I'm moving to LA. <laughs> My daughter will be. Look at his body language, bro. His body language goes from open to closed. Hey, question, you got a drink? No, it's not that I don't want to. I will not be moving. Ask you. <laughs> and with me, no. I will be moving to LA. My that nigga mad, will be bro. My daughter will be closer to me. So, yes, sir, my daughter will be around me more. Y'all. Bro, y'all just be weird. Bro, y'all ask anything. That's bro, crazy. why would y'all even ask this man? That's what I'm saying. That. About his Look, this nigga want to fight somebody right now, bro. All right, right so next much. question is for Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's talk about Lori because she did. <laughs> that nigga look disgusting. She announced that she's starting a new job. She moved and she's no longer with Joelle. Y'all, so your girl is about to get her first job ever. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Um, honestly, I haven't worked in like seven years. So I'm like nervous, but I'm excited. So I found like two spots that I really, really want to work at. They're downtown Dallas. So I'm really excited for that. Hey, shout out to my niggas in the day. What field is it? Customer service retail. See how long you last there, Lauren. I'm not telling you guys, <laughs> but it's very nice. Anything customer service is just fucking trash because it doesn't matter how good you are at your job. It's always going to be a motherfucker who is complaining, ungrateful, you know what I'm saying? It feels like the world revolves around a motherfucking ass. It's always going to be some sarcastic, tight booty ass bitch or nigga, right? who's going to get on your fucking nerves and then you going to quit cuz Lauren got Lauren doesn't have to have a job, right? So she just going to quit. <laughs> so, you know, we going to see how long this customer service job lasts, especially in retail too. All right, we going to see. Guys, nice, like it's upscale. It's a vibe, very beautiful. That's Did you all in there with you? No. Me and Joel are not together. No can do, baby. We don't mess with the Debbies. All right, Lauren, you'll be back. We don't mess with deadbeats. If you're a deadbeat, you don't take care of your kids, get the, get the, Anything. get out, go. No, you cannot have my number. No, I cannot marry you. No, we cannot talk. No. Are, so are they divorced, y'all? Let me know in the comment section down below. I know they got divorced. Maybe I'm missing something. No, we cannot rekindle. <laughs> we cannot. You're not trying to be daddy. You're not trying to be a dad. You're not trying to be a father. You're trying to be a husband? Nah, you want her to, you want him to be daddy to you, right? <laughs> you want him to be your daddy. That's the thing, okay? I'm trying to make it seem like it's all about the kids. No, you want him to be daddy. We're not doing it. <laughs> We're not having it. Can we 
ever get a house. You know what I asked for? I moved. So I moved, and I'm happy. I like my new spot. I really do. Nope, your girl's not in Houston no more. I'm gone. I don't think I'll ever move back to Houston. I'm out of there. I'm sorry, Dallas where it's at, man. Everybody want to move to Houston. Yeah, move y'all asses out there, right? We don't need y'all down here polluting Dallas and shit, man. I love Dallas. Ain't no place like home. Houston is cool, but I would just never live in Houston. Too, too many, too many. Mm -mm. I, had a, I had a very, um, I didn't have a good experience um, with Joel in Houston. I mean, I did not have a good experience with Joel in Houston at all. Joel, Joel in my time in Houston, And then just that his, his mistress being there. His mistress. Joel's yeah. mistress being there. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm not going there. Like what? I don't need to go for court. That's it. And literally have to go to court because of him. Bro, them white seats, I could never. Let me know in the comment section down below, man. Like, I could never have no white seats like this because you already know. Like, it doesn't matter how much cleaning you're doing. It doesn't matter how clean your ass and your clothes are, right? This white is not going to stay white past a week. But anyway, guys, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Shout out to The Voice once again for hitting 400K subscribers, man. Keep going the fuck up. I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure everybody who supports you is proud of you as well. So, yeah, man. Leave her some love in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. All of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Tell they ain't your mama. Tell they Uncle Joey. Still a mother freaking hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.